100 feet. The Orion capsule came down through the Earth's atmosphere and landed safely and securely in the Pacific Ocean to wind up the inaugural mission for NASA's new Artemis lunar program 50 years to the day after Apollo's final moon landing. Splashdown. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. Artemis 1 was launched into orbit on the 16th of November from Cape Canaveral in Florida. It traveled more than 2 million kilometers in space over more than 25 days, sending back breathtaking images of the moon. It re-entered the Earth's atmosphere at about 40,000 kilometers per hour. Its sheet yield had to withstand temperatures of 2,760 degrees Celsius. A ship recovered the spacecraft and its occupants, three test dummies rigged with vibration sensors and radiation monitors. NASA says its mission goals are on track. For the last 25 and a half days, we've been every day looking ahead to the next flight to see how we can improve on where we are today so that we can fly a safe and successful mission with our astronauts next time around. The aim is for a flight around the moon in 2024 with four astronauts on board. It is hoped that there will be a two-person lunar landing as early as 2025.